this next story is told through a poem. When I was little, my grandfather used to play it to me and the gentleman who read it at the time had a very broad northern accent. So that's what I'm going to read it in now. It's called The Lion and Albert and it's by Marriott Edgar. There's a famous seaside place called Blackpool that's noted for fresh air and fun. And Mr and Mrs Ramsbottom went there with young Albert, their son. A grand little lad with young Albert, all dressed in his best, quite a swell. He'd a stick with an horse's head handle, the finest that Woolworths could sell. They didn't think much to the ocean. The waves, they was fiddling and small. There was no wrecks and nobody drowned. Fact, nothing to laugh at at all. So seeking for further amusement, they paid and went into the zoo, where they'd lions and tigers and camels and old ale and sandwiches too. There were one great big lion called Wallace. His nose were all covered in scars. He lay in a somnolent posture with the side of his face on the bars. Now, Albert had heard about lions, how they was ferocious and wild. To see Wallace lying so peaceful, well, it didn't seem right to the child. So straightway, the brave little fella, not showing a morsel of fear, took his stick with the horse's head handle and poked it in Wallace's ear. You could see that the lion didn't like it. For giving a sort of a roll, he pulled Albert inside the cage with him and swallowed the little lad whole. Then Pa, who had seen the occurrence and didn't know what to do next, said, Mother, yon lion's et Albert. And Mother said, E, I am vexed. Then Mr and Mrs Ramsbottom, quite rightly when all said and done, complained to the animal keeper that the lion did, had eaten their son. The keeper was quite nice about it. He said, what a nasty mishap. Are you sure it's your boy he's eaten? Pa said, am I sure there's his cap? The manager had to be sent for. He came and he said, what's to do? Pa said, yon lion's et Albert and him in his Sunday best too. Then mother said, right, right, young fella. I think it's a shame and a sin for a lion to go and eat Albert and after we've paid to come in. The manager wanted no trouble. He took out his purse right away, saying, how much to settle the matter? And Pa said, what do you usually pay? But mother had turned a bit awkward when she thought where her Albert had gone. She said, no, somebody's got to be summonsed. So that was decided upon. Then off they went to the police station in front of the magistrate chap. They told him what happened to Albert and proved it by showing his cap. The magistrate gave his opinion that no one was really to blame and he said that he hoped the Ramsbottoms would have further sons to their name. At that, Mother got proper blazing and thank you so kindly, said she. What, spend all my life raising children to feed blooming lions? Not me, 